I was chilling in my house one day and heard a noise. It sounded like three knocks on the door. I checked and no one was there. Just assume nobody's there. Even if someone's there, it's probably a telemarketer or something. <sighs> then I heard a loud crash from the kitchen. That, you know, deserves some investigation. I went to see and the milk but more creepier, please. Okay, fine. I'll add a little, a little spooky, spooktastic spookiness to it. Just for you, newly found father. So, um, where were we? Oh, yes, some milk had spilled. This is very sad because milk is very important for building strong ghost hunting bones. If you don't drink your milk, well, you're not going to be a good ghost hunter. You know, like that Zack guy from Ghost Adventures. He drinks a lot of milk. Look how buff he is. Probably. Um... So, I noticed a picture of me had been drawn on. Whoa, that is so rude. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny, but rude. Bad ghost, bad. Um, a lot of pranks have been happening since then, and someone is making messes. I think it might be a poltergeist. For example, I saw a carton of orange juice dump itself onto the couch. Okay. Another time, I was looking through my cupboards and found a half-eaten sandwich on a Sunday. Unacceptable. I went to church, but when I came home, I found my bed had been filled with paint. Oh my goodness. What a jokester. And so it had smudged food all over the walls. Oh my goodness. And whenever I leave, there's always some new mess that's been made. My car has been egged from the inside. Every time I go to the bathroom, there's saran wrap on <laughs> In the middle of the night, I feel like some kid is jumping on me. Okay, that one's not so funny. That one's kind of creepy. This ghost is so silly! What, what is it doing? Uh, typically poltergeists tend to be more aggressive. They, it's weird. People believe that poltergeists come from a lot of negative energy being stuck in a room or a building. This just seems like... I think it's a little brother. That's what it feels like to me. An annoying little ghost brother that you're like, get away from me. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, kids in the woods! Kids in the woods! I told you! There's never a ghost story in the plains where you can see everything. Okay, let's begin. This is under experience, a one-time offender. When I was around 12 years old, I was at my cousin's house. Oh, a lot of ghost stories deal with cousins. Have you noticed that? When I was at my cousin's house and my, uh, my dead uncle was there. Who was a ghost? I was at my uncle, my uncle, my cousin's house for a party. Pretty sure it was around Christmas time. Christmas is full of ghosts, by the way. If you look at Christmas stories, there's always ghosts in them. We were hanging in our backyard in the woods. Part of the backyard is wooded area. Thanks, I, I gathered that. Thank you very much. And they, all that was left of the tree house, there's a tree house, is some steps leading to it and a few platforms not safe to climb up. My cousin, eight male at the time, told us a story about how two kids who had that tree house had died and it collapsed. I personally thought this is a load of BS. BS as in bees sneeze. It doesn't make any sense. But good with it. You know, believe your cousin when they tell you creepy ghost stories. Yeah, that's not a good idea. We eventually headed back to the house and I decided to go back to the woods alone. Alone? You never go in the woods alone. As I was walking into the woods, I felt a strange sense of calm wash over me. Like I was safe there. Safer than anywhere else. As I was walking, I'm looking around and I see a blue and white checkered flag up in a super thin tree that I hadn't noticed before. As I was looking at this and trying to figure out how I got there, I started to hear her kids' voices laughing, talking, just like having fun. Well, no. I didn't think too much of it at the time, but my cousins were out in that treehouse, a new one they had built, and not run the old run-down one. As I was walking closer to the old treehouse, the voices seemed louder, and I looked up at the flag. It was moving despite there not being any wind. I shook it off, as I couldn't feel the wind from down here, but up there there was wind and looked back down. And that's when I saw them. Six children with white skin! Like snow white skin, there's no snow on the ground by the way, I don't know what that has to do with this part, but okay. They almost seem to be wearing winter gear, though dull and dirty looking. They were walking towards me, but I didn't run. I wasn't afraid for some reason. I heard a branch snap, and that's when I ran. Yeah, that I would have run ages ago. As I went back to my cousin's house, I was surprised to see they weren't outside. I found them in the living room playing video games. When I asked them when I came in, they said, Oh, oh, oh what? When they were inside, when you were walking the woods, why? The kids I heard weren't them. Still, 
I don't know to this day who those kids were. There weren't any other neighbor kids, as none of them have lived close to my cousins. Were they a figment of my imagination? Whatever it was, it was one of the reasons I believe. That's a really good story. That's very impactful, very creepy. Good story, kid. Ghost in the Woods, that, yeah, I don't, I think I would burn the forest, no, don't burn the forest, medium. That was a gut reaction, that was scary, but move out of the house. Then burn the house down. Well, the tree house, get rid of the tree house, destroy it. That, that's my solution. Final ghost story of the evening. Thank you everyone who joined, by the way. Well, to Beam and to my two parents, thank you very much, it's good to see you here. Final story, it's called My Grandpa. I think this will be a nice one. It is sweet and emotional. This is the ending, so let's do this. So my grandpa on my mom's side died about six to seven years ago. He always stuck around, usually can identify himself by the smell of cigarette smoke or TV channels suddenly changing something. That's exactly like my Nana. She did the exact same thing. Always smelled the cigarettes and would always change a TV. You say, Nana, I want to watch that ghost hunting show. She said, medium, that's stupid. Ugh. Sometimes Nanas aren't always nice. Just like we, just last week, my grandma remarried. It was awesome. Everyone is happy for her. At the wedding, I sat near the back so that my kiddos didn't interrupt the ceremony. And it was there I felt my grandpa. When my grandma came out of the changing room in her wedding gown, this overwhelming feeling of happiness and sadness filled me. I could feel him standing right behind me. I bawled my eyes out. She was beautiful. I think he thought that too. And she had asked my mom months ago if it was okay for her to move on. I think that confirmed it 100%. He just wants her to be happy. Oh, what a good story to end on. Thank you, everyone, who joined the stream. It was a lot of fun. Have a great and safe, wonderful Halloween. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you back here for some more ghostly content. I think I know everyone who's watching, so I know you'll be back here because you've always been the greatest supporters of me, the medium. Have a very safe and happy Halloween, everyone. And remember, if you see a ghost, don't say hi. Say bye-bye because they might be some creepy ghosts like those kids in the woods, or it might be your grandpa. If it's your grandpa, say hi. Tell him how you're doing, and above all else, say, you smell great, even though he smells like cigarette smoke. Oh, poor grandpa. Bye, everybody.